let's go to the live screen. All right, should work. Let's see what kind yeah, of. You're live. Uh, there's like a about 30 second delay, but that's okay. Ooh, I can hear myself quite a bit. How? Oh, you need it's to mute YouTube, stream. dude. Oh yeah, I'm stupid. Durr. <laughs> yeah, we'll use the desk here. I'm a, I'm a dipshit. All right. <laughs> All right. We got your little motherboard here. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh! Look how tiny. Oh, it's so cute. So this thing's pretty it neat is. because it has onboard Wi-Fi. So if you ever need Wi-Fi, since it's so small, you can move it around easy. It comes with antennas. Screw on the back there. Neato. Pretty neat for a tiny little motherboard to have onboard Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's a small case. It is super tiny. Like, like this motherboard's just barely going to fit in there. It's going to be great. I took it apart to do some test fitting yesterday just to make sure and the that... the water cooler will have no problem fitting? It It's tight, but it'll fit. It'll fit. It... It'll be interesting. One thing that we may have to do, I'm not sure about our motherboard power cable from the power supply. This is like your standard one, and it's just way too long. It's going to be like doubled up in here. Okay. And if it gets in the way, I may have to order us a custom one. It's not a big deal, but we'll see. Okay. The first thing we're going to do, though, we're going to kind of assemble the board outside of the case and just turn it on and make sure everything works before we cram it in here. Because getting it back out Good idea. is not Would be a mother. fun. Yeah. So we'll basically just do a little test bench here and make sure. So we got our Ryzen 5 2600X. Ooh, yeah. This is going to be a powerhouse for a little computer. Yeah. Well, that's what I like. I like small computers, like a, like, you know, just little, uh, little sleeper systems. That's what I'm into. Can you even see this, or should I move you up closer? I mean, I can see it. Uh. Like you got, a like, closer. a little bit of choppiness, but it's not too bad. Well, that's no good. Let me, let me scoot us up a little bit and fix this. Do, 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 do. We'll get rid of that. That probably fix our choppiness. And we will come over here. Bada bing, bada boom, da ba doom. I, I don't want any of that. Do, 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 do. You? Nope. Do, 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 do. Might just zoom us in a click or two so you can. Sure. Well, it doesn't appear to actually change it while you're live. Hmm. Super lame. It is lame. Oh well. Maybe we'll just scoot it up and damn it, rotate. Yeah, scoot it up a little bit. We'll get all up in there. Yeah, you get all professional and such. All up in there. Maybe that'll be a little better. Okay, so pop our little 
latch pin out here for the CPU socket. Open up our very nice Ryzen 5 2600X. And that, that's, that is like, you know, a really good processor. That's like it this, really this is. Stuff, like, right? It's a great middle ground. It, I honestly think it's the best for a gaming build. Mm -mm. They do go in a certain way. There's a little notch that you line up. Right. That's pretty cake, though. You just plop her in there. Lock your pin down, and you're good to go. And for testing, we'll just use the cooler that comes with it. Right. It's actually a really good cooler. Uh, pretty. Remember the days when CPUs used to come with these little tiny things? Like I remember, yeah. These things. That's a monster, yeah. Uh, where's my screwdriver at? That's a flashlight, not a screwdriver. <laughs> uh, Andrew has joined between... the chat, apparently. What? Andrew has joined the chat, apparently. Yay, Andrew. Is the delay between me talking and then you seeing it on screen? You got about 25 seconds. That's kind of lame. I hoped it would be better, but... I mean, that that's about normal, in right. all honesty. So Unless you're doing, like, a FaceTime or something. Yeah. Oh, we'll just take these. It's really funny that... So all the AM4 AMD motherboards, they still come with these old-school brackets on them for, like, these clip-style coolers. Like, I don't know why. I don't think any current processor comes with that style of a cooler. It's hmm. weird. And we'll just plop her on here, line up our little pins. And it's going to be on here for a total of like 30 seconds. Powered on, make sure everything turns on. Yeah, yeah no errors or no. anything weird like that. Because I really... Do not want to have to dig something back out of this case. Because once it's in there, it's going to be tough to get back out. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, clamp her down. Clamp, 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 clamp. And you do this like you're putting on a car tire. You go kind of star pattern crossways so you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tighten everything evenly. So true, so true. Do, 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 do. Oh, you see, you, you, you're you not 100% professional because you're not wearing some sort of crazy static-proof gloves. Oh, no. No, I'm sure not. At least I'm working on a wood surface instead of, like, a metal table <laughs> yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, we got our cooler on there, and now we'll plug it into the CPU fan. And let's pop a little bit of RAM in there. We got our yeah, our wonderful Corsair Vengeance LPX. This is it's pretty much the standard of RAM. I feel like. Oh yeah. Like, even though like it's there's... not flashy and shiny. Yeah, there's high-end stuff, but right. I think that's that that's like the workhorse RAM, right? You, wouldn't you say? Pretty much. Like, you can't go wrong with it. If if your Vengeance LPX RAM doesn't work, then you've done something wrong. Like, it just seems to be very very solid. Do 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 do. do which way? This way. And they may not be, like, there's a couple of different manufacturers, the ones that actually make the the microchips on there. Right. There's and remember Hynix the, and Samsung. And remember this, and, this is an upgrade from an AMD FX 8320 uh, 
to a Ryzen 5 2600. Yeah. And I only have 8 gigabytes of RAM on this PC that I'm using currently. Yep. So we're And honestly, I almost got you just 8 gigs because... Oh, wow. 8 gigs is plenty. Like, but 16 future-proofs you a good bit. Mm -hmm, and seeing mm -hmm. as getting into this case to add RAM or swap RAM later is very difficult. And with this board, you only have two RAM slots. So if you had 8 gigs and you decide you want 16, you'd have to take these two sticks out and try to sell them or something. Right, yeah. It's not like you can just add more sticks. So We'll just start off with 16 and then you'll be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... The elitist people will tell you that, oh, 8 gigs is not enough, but it really is. Right now, I'm streaming with 8 gigs, and we're not even using 6. So, what's that tell you? Right. More RAM doesn't do any good if you're not using it. Hmm. Alright, let's Very open true. up our graphics card. Yeah. See what's in the box. What's in the box? Oh, not even out of the Amazon packaging. No, no, I literally <laughs> got in from work, grabbed it to. Well, I guess new egg packaging. Ooh. Ooh. So, have you ever messed around with one of these mini cards before? No, I haven't actually. I the box it. is just as big. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Full-size box, mini card. <laughs> I did a good bit of reading and watching of reviews to make sure it was going to be worth it because for $20 more you can get a full-size. But with this case, the full-sizes that will fit it are mostly the reference packages, which means they're... Most of the time, they're not clocked as high. They have their cooling is not as good, and we don't want okay. that. But with this card, from everything I've seen, is it can hold the same frequencies as the full size cards. Right. Like the only the only big difference is like uh is going to be heat, right? Like that's going to be a. Uh... Wow. But it shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't. So. Because with this case, this thing is going to have a clear shot to suck in outside air. So it's not like it's getting hot air inside the case. Mm -hmm. Wow, there's like nothing in the box besides the card and a sweet six-pin adapter, which nobody should ever be using in today's day and age. <laughs> yeah, like if you if you have a six-pin adapter, what what kind of system are you hooking this thing up to? Right. There's our, our little book and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what do you think about that, uh, what is that, the RTX 660 or whatnot? 6600? They... That new bench card that they launched? Yeah, like within the last day or two? Mm hmm I thought it was going to be the 680, but I could be wrong. It might be the 680. But it's, it, either way, it's $6,300. Like, we, we, you know... It's it's for a bench, but <laughs> Oh, you must be talking Navi. That's a, Yeah, yeah, yeah. For more like workstation work. Yeah, this it is. This is a really oh, nice wow. card. That's cool. That's a cool looking card. This is really That's nice. Some good copper. To be a mini, like the heat sink on this thing actually goes past the PCB. To Hmm. It, the heat sink on this is the same, if not bigger, than my Asus Strix. Oh wow! Yeah, that's thick. Thick with a K. I like this. Yeah. This is nice. Nice heat pipes. Very nice. This is gonna work good. Oh yeah. So we got our CPU and our RAM in. We're gonna plop this bad boy so... in the. <clears throat> So I always, like, when I first started dicking around with computers, I always thought Zotech was, like, a crappy brand, like an off-brand. Oh, no. But, they, but no, they uh, they definitely know Maybe what they're they doing. Maybe they used what? to be. Yeah. I feel like in the last few years, like, 
the Zotac Amp Extreme editions of pretty much any model are mm -hmm. usually one of the best, if not the best. Okay, okay. What what do you think is like the the bottom of the barrel? Like stay away from brand now. Uh, I don't know. They're all decent. I mean, people like Power Color. Some of their cheap stuff is not that great. Uh, Sapphire. Sapphire's the same way. They have their Nitro Plus series of cards is probably next in line behind the, the Zotac Amp. Okay. So I don't, I don't know who's... I'm, I'm sure there's some Chinese ones you probably don't want to mess with, but... All in all, I think... Like, I had a... What is that? A PNY go out on me one time that was like uh in oh yeah. eight i think i had that pny just fry hmm. uh but uh that was back when sli was like a thing and i had two pny's going and the bottom pny fried so that's weird it's usually gonna be the top one because that's the one that's getting the most right hit. that that was the weird thing about it it was the bottom one I, I had it around here for years, if you remember correctly. Oh, yeah, yeah it sat on your, your little thingamajig there. Yeah. I forgot I might have to look at which pins to jump to turn this bad boy on. But, uh, boo -boo -doo -boo -doo. Need to get display hooked up here. That card is almost as big as the motherboard. That is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, something I don't know, I didn't consider, because I guess it's not a big deal. This only has one HDMI port and three uh, display ports, so I don't know what your monitors are. but They're both HDMI, Okay. so I'll have I to get a... Dis I'll send yeah, oh, okay. Okay, cool. Amazing. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. Okay. I need to get power to the card. What did I do with my other power cable? Right here. Right here. And we'll hook her up here on the VGA1. So, is there a game out there that this rig won't play? Mm, no. Hmm. I mean, define won't play, I guess. Yeah, I guess It'll that play would be anything like... on 1080. Oh, okay. It'll play, and that's what I'm going to be playing. Like, I'm not going to be going to 4K right now. It'll play 2K on pretty much any title at reasonable settings, and it could play 4K at some lower settings too. But right, right, right. Do, 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 do. Okay, where's the book? I need to figure out which pens to jump to turn this bad boy on. <laughs> Uh, let's click that off for now. Do, 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 book, book, book. Somebody text me. I'm, I'm going to be that guy. <laughs> I didn't hear it, so. Good enough. Let's see here. Here in the book, it tells you this is the book for your motherboard. It tells us. Dum -dum -ba -dum -ba -ba. Front panel connectors, power switch, 6 and 8, which would be, well, that's the USB, where, where in the Sam Hill is our front panel connector? Oh wow, it's way over there. I gotta say, um, the layout of this board is not that great. Okay. But that's kind of the, the sacrifice you make for small form factor, I suppose. Yeah. Also at the price point. I like the layout of the Asus Strix Mini ITX board a little better. But it's also, I think it's 60 or 80 more dollars. Wow. And mm. it doesn't have any other features. It's just the way it's laid out's a little better. Oh. A little bit better. I need to 
plug in the CPU power. Durr. That, that would help, huh? Yeah. It needs its brain. It sure does. We would have been like, oh god, it don't work. <laughs> do, 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 CPU. I don't know if anybody's saying anything in chat because for some reason. Uh, it's just me and uh, me and Andrew. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah. Why is Andrew not in Discord with us then? Uh, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna drive up here here in a few minutes. Oh. Uh, Ooh. Uh, what are you guys gonna do tonight? Well, we're gonna watch you do some some cool stuff. Hang out a little bit. Oh. I don't know how he's going to listen to you because I don't have another set of. Uh, <laughs> Any other the way to? Uh, TV I could, yeah, I could throw you on the TV there. Do that. He would just I be could. hearing me and you talk while <laughs> yeah. hearing you. T that would be interesting. Well, I, I could send the mic over to the to the to the Yeti, I guess. Hey, there you go. And since I don't actually have a jumper pin around, that's like. Oh no, I don't want to send this to my mom and dad's TV. This would be terrible. <laughs> that would be hilarious. You should send it to your mom and dad's TV. Six and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because all, all of their, their like Roku stuff and everything's attached to my you know, my Google account. Yeah. So it keeps wanting me to like send things to to them. <laughs> How in the same one, two, three, four. So it's those two. These two top ones here. It doesn't actually tell me which one's plus or minus, so I'm assuming it doesn't matter. Bloop. We're just plugging in the, the front to panel of your case so I can use the power. Right. Button. Okay. Yeah, check all those buttons. Can you see this monitor over here? Nope, you sure can't. Nope, can't see a monitor. Well... I'll scoot you back out a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, this little cheapo Amazon tripod's pretty handy, actually. Oh yeah, yeah. Like tripods. If you're if you pay more than thirty dollars for a tripod, you're doing it wrong. Like you don't like for for normal kind of like photography. Right. You don't need like feet stabilizers. Yeah. And stuff like that for ground trimmers, and you don't need it. <laughs> okay. I was out, I was out shooting on a trail one time, and this guy flips out his like nine hundred dollar tripod with fucking stabilizers all over it. And I'm oh, like, wow. what are you, what are you doing? You, you doing this to shoot butterflies? <laughs> like, what are you doing? I got to get that butterfly close up. Oh uh, yeah, which uh, I mean, you just, you just. Take a picture of the butterfly. You don't need a bunch of stabilizers. You're not shooting in a uh, sports arena, you know. <laughs> okay, everything powered on. Oh, this card says Zotac across the top here in LED. Oh, super sexy. Yep. Well, I saw some lights turn on. Yeah. There she comes. Looky there, she boots. That's pretty much all we wanted to see. We right, got a display right. output so we know graphics card works. Ryzen 5 2600, 6 core. Our DRAM is detected, both sticks. So we know we're good to go. We can proceed. Yeah. It knows what it is. That's pretty much all we wanted to do. Now we can actually stick it in there and we know everything works. We don't have to worry about pulling something back out later. So very true worth the few minutes it takes to set this up and just test run it. I probably should have done that yesterday, so I would have been ahead. But eh, It's okay. Some people that might watch this video had no idea. That's maybe true. they'll maybe they're building a small build and they're like, I don't know. I don't know. Well, if you're watching this in the future, future people, listen to me. There's much better channels you could watch on how to build Besides this, <laughs> go watch Jay's Two Cents, Paul's Hardware, Bitwit, Linus Tech Tips, Gamers Nexus, 
but maybe they they want the real grittiness Ooh. of of the you know they they want they want to know a real person, that's no big. one that's getting paid by like Slim Jim or something. Yeah, uh, here's the power <laughs> supply I'm giving you. This is the EVGA Supernova. Oh, that's nice. It's a G3, which means it's gold rated, so it's more efficient. It's I'm only buying EVGA power supplies from now on. Oh wow, you you like it that well, huh? Yep. That much. I went through when I built my computer, you know, was it six, eight months ago? Yeah. I went through three power supplies before I finally got the EVGA. And it was all because they would either have a lot of noise or their 12 volt power for the graphics under load would dip down around 11.5 volts. And I don't think that's acceptable. On a system that's not pushing, like, I'm not running super high-end graphics cards. Uh, there's nothing high-end yeah. in that computer. It should be able to maintain yeah, it, 12 volts. It really should. Yeah, that's 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 kind of weird. Yeah. So, hmm. upgraded to this, the, the EVGA Supernova G3. And it was great. And I'm looking at switching to a... AMD Vega RX graphics card soon. I'm going to liquid cool it, so I needed a little more power supply for all that. So I went ahead and upgraded to the EVGA Supernova 1200 P2. And it is a platinum rated, so it's a little more efficient than gold. And basically double the wattage so it can handle a, okay. a bunch of it's basically I won't have to buy another power supply again like for a long time it has a 12 year warranty oh wow <laughs> that's a good warranty yep so we don't have to worry about that for a long long time that is like one of the more common things that happen to uh, like store bought desktops are the right. power supplies go first yep uh, it's anytime people, cheap. Yeah, anytime people at, at Walmart or something ask me, like, yeah, I just came home and it, it, the power button just don't turn on. Like, it's probably your power supply. Yep. I guarantee you it's probably your power supply. <laughs> I need to go grab a paper towel so we can, we need to wipe the thermal paste that was on the factory. Oh, where, where's the camera at? There. The thermal paste that was on the factory cooler off. Okay. Because then we're going to use... I've got some upgraded thermal paste we're going to oh, use. Oh, cool. Neato. So be right back. Da, 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 da. We got four viewers hanging out with us right now. Well, hello, people. Paper towel time. Yeah, I kind of... So I took and set the motherboard in the case. And then I... Laid the, the liquid cooler in there just to see how it's going to fit. And right. It's, it's going to be... It's mainly the hoses. I might have to bend them around a little bit to get them clear everything. But I don't think it's going to be that bad. I think it'll be okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If Linus of Linus Tech Tips could make it work. I'm sure we can. And he did. Sure. So. What uh what isopropyl you uh using there? 90%? Well, this expired in 2016 and it is 70%. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I uh sometimes when I, I when I shoot my like actual metallic Mm -hmm. Out of my airbrush, I use ninety percent uh, oh. because it's just it's just way better to shoot that thins down the metallic. Yeah. Um, also, with alcohol based paint, fun fact: if you use water and alcohol based paint, you're going to rust the entire pot of paint. Oh, really? It it will rust the paint. Yeah. I did not know alcohol based paint was a thing. Mm-hmm. It's good stuff. Um. They make alcohol-based paint uh, for gold. 
that you can get actual gold flakes in it. To it's it's weird. It's weird. There's some good there's some good paints. Uh, let's see who makes it. I think Vallejo makes it, and it's really good paint. They're a German company. They're they're really good. I thought about taking your graphics card mm-hmm. apart and doing my thermal paste upgrade to it too, but I think uh, it'll be fine. That's what I've done yeah, that with looks, both of my that graphics card looks like a beast though already. Like I should pull one of my nine seventies out just to compare the size because this is this is almost the same as a full size Strix nine seventy. I, if I was in the market for a another Nvidia card, I think this is what I would get. Yeah, I mean, looking at that, I know it says it's a mini card, but no way does that look mini. Like uh-huh. that looks, that looks like a normal card. I think it's so, because cards have gotten so much bigger lately. Like most of your, like the full size version of this is like, what's it, thirteen some inches. Almost right, 14, right. and this one is, this one's only 8 and a quarter. Okay. So imagine it being this much longer to my finger there. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that just adds another fan. Yeah, yeah. add a triple fan. And, okay, well, let's start packing stuff in here. That's a proper man, just hanging out, have a, have a tape measure on site, ready oh, to yeah. use it. Always have a tape measure. That, that's today. like me too. Since I war game, there's tape measures yeah. all over the damn house. I was <laughs> at work today, I'm out in a field, you know, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ordering up some parts to have them brought out to me. And they say, well, is that a 14-inch belt or a 16-inch belt? And I open the drawer in my toolbox to get my tape measure out and guess what's not in the drawer. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know where my tape measure went. But I bet you somebody it. borrowed it and well, uh, put it back. Somebody is going to get their, their knees, knees broken. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. Do it, man. No mercy. Okay. So don't forget when you start to put your motherboard and stuff in your case, a little back plate. It's called an IO shield. It goes in the case and pokes out. And make sure you put it in the right direction also. All right. Cuz if you don't put it in, then you got to take everything apart to put it in. That's very true. And, and you you just you don't want to do that. Yeah, that would look really aw- awkward with just your all of your uh, stuff, j- junk just hanging out the back of there. Yeah, it would just Instead be hanging out the back. On everything. No big yeah, deal. Yeah, that's, that's weird. This thing is actually a really tight fit. What the hell? <laughs> I think you're going, I think that's what the the main story of this build is going to be. Yeah. Is this, is, this is a really tight fit in here. I feel like uh-huh. they made that a tight fit just to prepare you for the rest of your build. Yeah. All right, we're popped in there. And I really like IO shields nowadays. They're not just bland, shiny pieces of metal. Like this one's black. It has the MSI logo and. Yeah, it's super cool. They're way, way cooler than they used to be. And I'm sure on you know maybe some budget boards and stuff they're still bland. But so one of the things that I didn't like about this board and I almost ordered one for you just because but so NVMe M.2 SSD okay. drives they're like a they're just a wafer and they hook in to a slot like ooh, if it'll focus right here where my fingers at yeah coming in oh gosh <laughs> so it like it pushes in there and then you screw it down back here well this one the drive slot is on the back of the board so since Ooh. we don't have one to put in once this is all installed later if you wanted to put one in you're gonna have to disassemble everything 
to put in a second? Yep, it would be a NVMe M.2 SSD. The huh. perks of them is that they're on a PCI Express lane, just like your graphics card. All right. So they have much faster response to the CPU. It's right. It's a direct path versus your SATA drives have to run through a SATA controller that then sends it to the processor. So you lose some speed through that. Okay. So MVMe M.2 is super fast, but they're also, it's still pretty new tech, so they're still pretty expensive. Okay. And they're not no, necessary. No, I know that we're just going with just a solid state drive yep. for for this. Now, of course, I can get like a external hard drive and put all my games on it if I want to and all you that sure jazz. Can. In this case, and I didn't will... realize we actually have three places we can mount SSDs in here. So this oh, wow. so... that goes on the top can actually fit two. And then down here on the bottom of the case, beside the motherboard, is where you can mount another one. And it has all the plugs for it if we need to do yep. that, right? You could plug huh. everything in. So I was So thinking, we could just get another solid state and just yeah. zip you so that So if you start there. to decide that 512 gigs isn't enough, and if all you're storing is games on here, then that'll be plenty. But you can easily add more. Right, right. So we're going to see how things fit. The only thing about this top hard drive deal is... It's going to make things a tight fit up here. And so we might mount our hard drive down here. Okay. And leave this out for now. And then later, if you decide you want to, you can pop this in, add your drives, and you might have to wiggle some stuff around to fit it. But for now, since we don't need it, we might leave it out. Yeah, that sounds good. Where... Did I put the hardware for? Here it is. So we'll screw our motherboard down now. Oh, no we won't. No we won't. Almost forgot about our cooler. Don't forget about the cooler. Because we got to put a, a back plate on the motherboard, I believe. I believe. Hello, Andrew. Andrew's there. Andrew's here. Uh, I want to clean him off a chair real quick. Give me just a second. What's on the chair that you got to clean off? Is it like just a bunch of poop on the chair? Or... I, don't, I don't understand why that would be necessary, but okay. Or is it like a woman, whenever somebody goes to get in their car, they have to clean off their seat? I need a drink. I'll have to pull out this chair first. That chair. I literally, I got off work, rushed home, took a quick shower, and started the stream. No food, no drink. So I don't know what kind of audio you have going for. Uh, Ugh. Okay. So, I got AM4 screws. This says AMD. Might have to actually. Look I mean, like book audio book. for us. <laughs> Let's see which ones we use for this. You well, could always just look at it on the computer. phone and pluck up some headphones. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. Listen. So the AMD mounting bracket. That. What's that say? Don't say nothing, but I'm pretty sure that's the one we want. And... Uh. Oh, do we reuse the factory backplate? I think we do. Oh, we're going to reuse some factory backplates, eh? Yep. Uh, let's just make sure here. Blah, blah, blah. AMD. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 
We just reused the factory backplate. Well, that's good. <laughs> I kind of like the factory backplates, to be honest. They're actually really nice on these boards. They're actually metal. They have a nice plastic piece between the board. It's way better than they used to be. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that gives us, that's what we screw into, so our cooler screws into that. All right. And so you're not actually screwing to the motherboard. It's, it makes it more rigid, you know? More rigidity. What else does this book say? Anything? Intel. We're going to skip all that. That's gross. Step one, put the thing on the thing. Step two, screw the thing onto the thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. I see. Yep. Okay. Now I know everything to do. These go. It's kind of a neat little cooler. I, I kind of like this little. Neato guy. cooler. Yeah, that that's, that's a big radiator. You're a big radiator. <laughs> Am I a big radiator? I'm just cooling shit down, man. Just it's actually around. a tiny radiator. Most guys. Oh, uh, so. Like, so okay. Andrew says you are six seconds behind. You got a six second delay, wow. which is really good. He actually counted it out, huh? Yeah. Well, that's that's a thing people do. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Andrew is now our stream analytics officer. Yeah, he's he's our human stream analytics officer. I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that that's on there, that'll keep our backplate on. He's going to jump in here and moderate a little bit. Intel bracketry nastiness can just go away. Yeah, nobody wants any of that junk. Nobody wants. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm not exactly sure how this goes, but we'll figure it out in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we can put the board in. Dude, th this case is going to look ridiculous because it's just, it's like, the awesome. cart's as big as the, as the motherboard. <laughs> it is going to be awesome. My original plan before I built one was to build a mini just because I wanted to. Right. And then I kind of got to thinking, you know how I like to tinker with things, and I was like, well, with a bigger case, you've got more tinkering ability. You can add more things and right. more things. But, and... Yeah, but for me, I mean, I'm going to be moving this case around a little bit, right. like if we want to stream at Justin's or something like that. Uh, I need something small, yep. and this will be perfect for it. You it's like the size of two and... Xboxes st stacked on top of each other. Right, it's nothing. It'd be pretty great. All right, let's screw the old motherboard in here. Do, 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 do. If I can. Oh, screw that board, bro. Oh, yeah. Screw that board. Oh. <laughs> there. Yeah, like... Like, there's some crazy builds out there. Like, oh, yeah. uh, Andrew was like, yeah, like, he was trying to convince Jeff to put his in a, like, one of the security safes, right? In <laughs> or, a security safe. In a security safe? Because we have yeah. these big, like, little tiny security safes that are, like, fireproof and stuff oh. that you could probably build a computer into, but you would have no airflow. <laughs> yeah. You see, airflow is a thing. You'd almost have to, like, uh, fake it. Yeah, you could, like, feather in airflow to the side. Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't know about all that. Have you seen those uh, ice builds where people build them on ice? No. Yeah, people, you can, you know, it, computer a computer doesn't need a case. It could no. run the open air. Yeah, you can but people will go... Yeah, people go into a freezer, like a sub-zero freezer, okay. chisel out an ice case, put put your RB, RGB lights in it, and then build the build the computer inside the ice block. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that's one thing. Um, I just, 
<laughs> I feel like we're not building in 2018 since I didn't order any RGB fans or anything but, for this. But that's how I'm about, man. That's how I'm about. I want a sleeper case. I, I might have a, a little surprise sleeper. for you when you... Oh, I like surprises, though. When you power it on for the first time, you might... Uh... <laughs> I'm cool with surprises. Because this board does support RGB, controllable RGB, I should say. Man, they sure did put these little screws in. Hard to get two places. But we will prevail. Oh yeah, tighten that down. I wish I would have got home sooner so we could have... Like, we're not probably going to get to the actual running of things tonight, but we'll at least get it assembled. I got to work in the morning, so I can't be up all night. Oh, you got to work tomorrow? Super lame. Poop. Yep. Unfortunately, that's how it worked out. Ah, uh, you know how it is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, boy. This is when things are going to start getting interesting. So, let's pop the graphics card in here and see what kind of room we're working with for our liquid cooler. Okay. And then I'll show you one of the reasons why I picked this particular liquid cooler instead of some other one. Besides it being Corsair, and I'm, I'm a bit of a Corsair fanboy, I guess you could say. They make good stuff, and when they, they do. make good stuff, and it works for me... I stick with it. Uh, I'm not going to switch when something works. Well, this is a little bit cheese dick, but I'll let it slide. Okay. Not a big fan of their backplate mounting deal. But... Mm. It'll work. But this was like, this case was considered like one of the best for the minis, yep, right? It sure is. Like... According to Gamers Nexus, this one has some of the best thermals for... And that's what we need, yeah. And Gamers Nexus is all about showing the stats. Like, those guys, they don't mess around. When they test thermals, they take it to a science. Yeah. I like how almost we got, like, a free-form podcast going on right now. Like, yeah. it's all right. <laughs> This is going to be fun. Oof. Okay, we're in. We're in. Golly. <laughs> oh, I like the challenge, because building a normal towered PC is not challenging at all. You can literally just stick stuff in there anyway. It might not right. look good, but it's going to fit. There we went. you got to push her in there till she clicks, you know. Yeah, this is way more fun. I'm rubbing my belly because I had Taco Bell earlier. Ooh. I had, like, nothing all day because I mm -hmm. was out in the field. So. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I think it's Friday. They close at, like, 12. You can just jump, jostle on down the road and get you some Taco Bell. Hell yeah, bring me some. If you can get that $5 extra large chalupa box for a chance to win an Xbox One X, only supported by Taco Bell. Try our <laughs> Baja Blast. Blast up your life with Baja Blast from Taco Bell. I wonder if we're sponsored by Taco Bell. Watch out, bro. Back of the chair. Oh, that's funny. You're good, you're good. It's this. <laughs> yeah, you gotta scoot up a little bit. <sighs> so how is Andrew hearing me? Uh, Andrew is watching you on the side, hitting your analytics. <laughs> okay. He's watching from, like, a cell phone. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, you, you got, like, a six-second delay. That's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna come in, we'll do a close-up of Motherboard well, at least here and North Cackalack. Her, he, her. I hate when people call North Carolina North Kakalaki. It's a. Uh, I don't like it. Oh, look at this. Look at the case. Now we're. All right. Motherboard and GPU in there. Looks a nice. Looking nice. 
I really like this card, Matt. Like, yeah, this is a nice graphics card. It really is. Huh. Venna, the, just just the copper. Venna, Venna. <laughs> oh, that was Borat. Yeah. If you didn't know, that was Borat. <laughs> That's what makes the joke good. Mm -hmm. is, um, yeah. I think Andrew a left of all actually... his vape fluid here. I'm going to drink it. Don't drink the vape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt's going to die. It's yeah, I'm going to live stream me vaping, drinking this vape fluid. I'm going to see what happens. Oh, God. <laughs> He's smoking royalty, too. Ooh. Whatever that is. Let's see what it says. Uh... I don't know. It has a crown and some tobacco leaves on it. You know, that's the weird thing about vape juice. They, it's all these flavors and different things, you know, but never it smells like on Christmas. the bottles. They never tell you what flavor it is on the bottle. No. You have to like it, go to their website for to get a description of what it's supposed to taste like. Well, it smells like a Christmas candle. <laughs> so, <laughs> like. They should rename this uh, Yankee Candle. That's yeah. what they should name it. So, I, I mean, I like the smell. I give the smell an 8, because I like Christmas candles. Yeah, I mean, they're cool. They smell good. I don't know what thermal <sighs> compound Corsair uses, but I guarantee you it's not as good as Noctua NH1, and that's right, what I'm right. going to use. So. I don't have any more thermal grizzly conducting on it, so... That would be a better option. Oh, it's okay. It's not like we're going to have temperature problems. This is more than enough cooler for a 2600X. Like, oh, yeah. I doubt you'll ever see 60C. And wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, mine, my 2600X is on an, a tower cooler, just air, with one fan. And yeah. even under heavy loads, I, I might see 60 degrees Celsius. What do you think about those turbine coolers? Hmm. Oh, you, you just don't need them. I don't know. Right? It's just kind I of... just think I think that they're really weird looking. But I think they look neat. They make yeah. your computer look super like futuristic. But uh, that's what's supposed to be like an air version of like an option besides water cooling is the turbines, right? Yeah. That's the bad thing about thermal compound. You always get it on your fingers and then it gets everywhere. Yeah, it's like it's like making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You know you're going to get jelly on it. Like yep. it's just it's just going to happen. But don't eat that. That's that's not that's uh Yeah, don't. It's not eat good it. jelly. It's not. I think this ring like goes in here to uh, secure it. I think that's how that goes. Oh man, you need to turn that Mountain Dew can face it toward the camera so that we're sponsored by Mountain Dew. Oh, we'll get those those sweet. those mad Mountain Dew uh, revenues. Yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. I, I see. Okay, I'm doing it right. I just gotta do it better. So, I'm thinking of getting my first tattoo. I'm thinking of getting one. Why? I don't know. I, I would like to put, uh, like, a cartoon, like, wow version of Kiara somewhere on my body. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, you don't want a Master Chief helmet on the... On my your... face? <laughs> on, 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 no, I don't really need a Master Chief helmet on there. No. Well... Then you'd always be protected. That's true. It's very true. There. Okay. We are successfully installed AMD bracketry for our Corsair H22 liquid cooler. Brought to you by. <laughs> brought to you by. Thermal compound everywhere. Thermal compound and Mountain Dew Baja Blast only available at Taco Bell, where now you can get the $5 extra large chalupa box 
and get a free entry for an Xbox One X, the only way to play Xbox games. Mm -hmm. That's true. So this is what get I the like. X or Not get out. The NTH one. It's very good thermal compound. I think it's some of the best. There's there's certainly some better ones on the market, but for most gaming use cases, this is more than adequate. All right. And the only problem is the little tip of my plunger got broken off, so now it's just a sharp thing you have to push on. Ooh. It's not fun. It's rough. Looks like you're working on like an engine out of like a Mini Cooper right now. Like mm -hmm. it's. <laughs> oh yeah, get all that paste on there. Paste it. I don't know how many times I've actually applied and reapplied paste on Ryzen chips, and I haven't actually looked to see what the. So there's like specific like this is how you apply it on these you draw an x or you put dots in each corner i'm like nah man we're just gonna slather it on and i do an x and it'll be fine promise but the internet's gonna get mad at me for doing that and saying that yeah they'll be like uh, uh, that's not how i like to do it mm -hmm. and since it's not electrically conductive you can't actually apply too much. It's just going to push it out. Because when you tighten down that cooler to the top, it's going to squish down with a preset amount of force. And anything right. between it and the processor that's preventing that force is going to go... And I've got to turn my heat down because it's like a million degrees in here. And that is no bueno. Too many degrees. Oh, you know what I could do? I'll just open up the lay window here. It's only like 40 degrees outside right now. Okay. I actually shouldn't have put the paste on yet. I should have dry fitted this a few times to make sure we got an idea, but... She's going. So I think I wanted the hoses going upwards and wrapping around like this was the plan. Okay. Let's uh let's stick the radiator in, just stick a uh, two bolts in it loosely. Two screws. So it's kinda where it's gonna be. And we'll see how the hoses look. Oh yeah, get in there. Get out of there, wire. Just gonna set you on here loosely for now. Something like that, eh? That'll do, yes sir. Okay. Oh, that's going to work out great. Oh, man, that's... Look at that. And that was what we were worried about, right? Yep. I was kind of thinking the hoses were going to be pushing up against the graphics card and might cause us some issues. Well, looks good. Yep. Stick two screws in here, and then I'll give us a close-up here. That worked out better than I could have hoped for. Or which holes on that supposed to be in a eh? does it even say does it matter probably doesn't even matter doop doop do put it on the thing do the thing with the thing uh the holes that are closest to each other so yes we are correct hooray for being correct what about screws Did it come with like some screws to tighten them on there with. Oh, some thumb screws. 
I didn't see no thumb screws. Oh, I'll be there are thumb screws. Thumb huh. screws are the best. Okay, there. Very pretty thumb screws. I don't know if they're anodized or if that's just how they look after they've been on a boat from China for three years, but well, it could be anything. It's kind of a yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, do you remember when we when we when we had the hobby shop and we oh. couldn't get Yu-Gi-Oh cards because uh, the uh, the boat tipped over and lost all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Oh. Like we couldn't get Yu-Gi-Oh cards for like four months yeah. because all yeah. of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that was going to North America got flooded after a freighter ship sunk. Ah, that was a while back. That was like oh. Three, I think. Yeah, you look at that box. Um... I'm not very happy about that. So the pump for this liquid cooler is not PWM modulated, and that bugs me. So what do you oh, yeah? really, what do you do when your pump is not PWM modulated? So it's, it's basically going to be, I guess we could hook it up as a system fan, and then as temperatures increase, the pump speed will increase, and then we'll put the fan to the actual... CPU. Hmm. Hmm. I have to study on this while I screw things together. I could have swore this pump was PWM also, but the alternative is the pump just runs wide open all the time, and that's a little excessive. Hmm. It's not a bad thing, I guess, but. I feel like it's just going to take life off your pump for no reason, you know? That's true. Well, I'll figure it out. Alright, give these a little tidy tidy here. The hoses are going to be a tight fit. Because our power supply is going to be sitting on top of all this. And so, oh, I meant to show you. So our liquid cooler deal there. I need to, let me maximize this so I can see too. <laughs> okay. So our liquid cooler there, the hose is coming off of it on the side there. Right. These actually swivel on the pump so you can get some more movement out of them. Oh, okay. Some of the other ones, the other decent ones, it seemed like they wouldn't swivel, or they came straight out, or they came straight up, and I said, mm -hmm. no, that's not really going to work for us. We need them to be... For that to... small build now. They gotta Since it's so move. tight, you have to have movement, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm really not sure... Which way to put the pump there? I think on it here. So then we got our fan. Now, so the whole theory here is since we've only got technically two fans in the case, because the GPU's fans don't count, uh, this is going to be intake pulling air in through the radiator, and then the power supply is going to be mounted with its fan down, so it'll be an outtake pulling the air out. That should give Great. us the optimal performance. I would think so, yeah. But you still got... There's a lot of ventilated holes on the case, so air is going to escape. And that's, so yeah. the GPU is going to be pulling air in from this side, blowing it across the GPU, and putting hot air into the case. And with our one exhaust fan on the power supply, it's not going to suck at all, so I'm hoping... 
According to Gamers Nexus, this one does great on thermals, so it must work out some way. It's funny how airflow can work sometimes, like especially in in a box. Inside of a box, it's really really weird. Which way like, because it's not like it, it's aerodynamics in some way, but right. There's also too many open ports and airflow. I don't know. It's strange. Yeah. Like we can shave like a quarter inch off the top of a hood to get different aerodynamics, but it's right. weird in the case. Might have already messed up. I forgot to put the hard drive in down here. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's going to fit right down there real nice. And, and it's out of the way. And You can actually still well, look, get to it because well, the screws that. come through the bottom. So it screws from the bottom up. So if you want to take it out, you just tilt the case over and flipper. Uh, let's see here. What screws would you be? Get rid of this. Not that. You would be probably these little guys I'm betting. Let's find out. Come here. Done with the alcohol. We can put that away. Mountain Dew. Yeah, man. Sponsored by Mountain Dew. With all new flavors like high voltage. <laughs> or, try, or, or try our old staples like Code Red. Do they make gamer fuel anymore? Is that still a thing? I, I mean, there's G Fuel. I don't know if that's a different thing or not, but... Remember, it used to be like um, like this orangey, the hell? tropical flavor. Oh. Oh. I remember the World of Warcraft one that came out. Yeah, uh, that was a thing. And the Halo one. You're the Halo one. Oh, those the screw holes. I can't find them. There they are. Oh, whoops. easy, careful. Come here. tiny case and everything is so tiny even the screws i know but that's gonna be so much so easy to carry oh it is It'll be so easy and there's the bottom screws that aren't there so that should be close eh? i can almost set that on my desk instead of on the floor Dude. which i might do that i might move it around and yeah. set it on the desk. do not put this on the floor well, that would be terrible I will come down there and take it back. <laughs> will you? Computers don't go on the floor. What are you, some kind of barbarian? I am a bit of a barbarian. I, I just play one in D and D. It's a... on the floor. He says, "Chat, chat. Can we, can we get some?" Uh, I don't have. It's no just emails. me and Andrew watching. Boom, face. <laughs> <laughs> If we were, if I was like big time on Twitch, they'd be spamming emotes about yeah, something. That'd just be a, just emotes, there'd be cry faces and eggplants. Yep. And and I don't know what any of that means. I'm confused. No, I don't know. Eggplant's either. a penis, right? Like yeah, we, that's... E yeah, eggplant's a penis, yep. Okay. That's... When did eggplants become penises instead of I hot dogs? don't like know. Like when we were kids, it was hot dogs. Like yep. that was a penis. Bananas, that's a penis. Yep. Not an eggplant. I don't know. I'm sure it has something to do with, like, iPhone emojis or something. Stupid kids. They need to get off my lawn. <laughs> what? Yeah, I did this back in my day, Andrew. Do something about it. I'm an old fart. Oh, Man, well, next year I'll be 32. 32. 32, motherfucker. I gotta <laughs> dive into the cable drawer real quick, because that SATA cable is entirely too long. I don't know if I like my boys. <laughs> I swear I have some more in here somewhere. Maybe not. There's some fan splitters. 
<laughs> so Andrew says that they were stealthily, totally open, but acting like they were closed. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah. They had all, all their lights were turned off, and they had parked all their cars like into the back of the building, so that they acted like they were closed. Wow. How dare you try to give us money? <laughs> I could have swore I had some shorter SATA cables, but I guess not. It's worth it just didn't give it to you. Alright. Yeah. So what does he do? Just wait there until they finally yeah. were like, okay, I guess. Yeah, he sat at the drive through for a minute and a half before they said, hey... They're like, God, he's not going away. <laughs> Starts just laying on the horn. I want my goddamn tacos! Oh, that's hilarious. I don't understand why. Well, I do understand why, actually. That's a lie. I know exactly why. But that particular Taco Bell is... Yeah. Well, I mean, just the used to work is. there. Uh... <laughs> That was a long time ago, though. Well, he, yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's, it's a normal, it's a normal Taco Bell. It's, it's kind of it, ran by, like, the management is people that never actually had their stuff together to become yeah. management. Like, I'm barely a manager, so I don't. <laughs> I don't manage nothing. I don't even manage myself. I go to work and I tell them to tell me yeah. what to do. I don't want nothing to do with it. They'll Is say, why really didn't you do that? And I'll say, because you didn't tell me to. I'll do anything you tell me to. But if you don't tell me, I Is it just it. like, is it a half-assed burrito build? Mm. You know what I hate the most when I go to Taco Bell? What you hate the most when you go to Taco Bell? And I get home and I open up that glorious burrito. I've been dreaming of all day. You know, man, that. you're, you, uh, yeah, yeah, I know, man. I'm, I'm trying to fantasize yep. as you right now. So you, you open up that burrito. And it looks pretty decent from the outside, and you're like, but you know, deep down, you know what's about to happen. But so you, you got your hopes up. You're like, maybe today's the day, though. Maybe today is the day. You bite into that bad boy. And you get one solid mouthful of sour cream. Oh, you yeah. bite into the next bite, and you get one solid mouthful of beef. Yeah. Yeah. I don't... You, you can't... You just can't have it all, I guess. It's the worst. And That's apparently, worst, I've heard that one of their, like, employee mottos is every flavor in every bite, or every ingredient in every bite... Yeah, well, yeah, it should be that way. And I feel like a lot of them people are, uh, well, they're they're letting uh, the bell down. They're letting the bell down. They're not ringing the bell. They're not doing it. Oh God. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go there. That's plenty. Cool. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I think that's the problem with Taco Bell. Is it's cold outside. They don't they don't have anyone to be accountable to like KFC. Well, they still have the same parent company. Like Papa they still, John's. Like... No, it's, it's, you know, when you're working at Papa John's, you got Papa John's reputation to uphold. Yeah, but... You're working at he, KFC. He's kind of you a got the colonel's fun. standards <laughs> staring there at you. The colonel is, that is staring true. at seven, you make. <laughs> seven herbs and spices. Yep. Like, you gotta, you gotta get them. Taco Bell. Well, you got a Chihuahua looking at you, like hey. They man. don't even use the Chihuahua, bro. They don't even use the Chihuahua. They it just shows. They just got. They just got a bell there. <laughs> you know why they got rid of the Chihuahua, right? Why the Chihuahua? Why they get rid of the Chihuahua, bro? They were running low well, on meat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know which way this fan spins by default, so I guess we'll have to figure that out, huh? Ooh, that's a... Yeah, we might have to actually take this out to put that screw in.
You're that is a, a small, small case computer. Like this, you just some screws you can't get to unless you do it a certain particular way. Dude, dude, you gotta spend that Mountain Dew can around so we can get some mad Mountain Dew money. We I'm gotta sorry, get that PepsiCo geez. cash. <laughs> now I'm gonna have a lawsuit for. <laughs> uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> trademark infringement or some shit. Uh, yeah, that's probably right. I mean, we have nothing good to say about Mountain Dew and Pepsi products. Well, don't say that. Now we'll have a, a lawsuit for defamation. <laughs> no, I said nothing. Oh, did I say nothing good? I meant yeah. nothing but good things to say. That's what I mean. Yeah. Well, now no Coke's way... going to sue us. And no way does Mountain Dew cause diabetes. <laughs> like, in no way does that happen. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, Andrew says that he's drinking Mountain Dew his whole life. As a baby, they put droppers in his mouth of just Mountain Dew. Yeah. Uh, that was in the, he was in the hospital not a, month, not a month ago, and they gave him a bag of Mountain Dew. And, and, he, and he doesn't even have the AIDS anymore. <laughs> Well, I'm glad they cured Andrew's AIDS. With Mountain Dew. With Mountain Dew in a colostomy bag. So what we're saying here is Mountain Dew cures all ailments. <laughs> okay? Now they're going to pull a Red Bull and have to send everybody a Mountain Dew can because it doesn't actually give you wings. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know... We're not doctors, but I saw it with my own eyes. Yeah. Well, that's even better than being a doctor. That's... I'll spin this around while I'm working back here for getting the radiator mounted. So this is the front of the case. This will be behind your mesh front. Okay. Pretty neat, huh? That is neat. You can tell by the way that it is. Yeah, it's neat. No. Seriously, guys? They give you the wrong screws? No. Is this also not a PWM modulated fan? I'm thoroughly confused why that's not... So PWM modulated fans and things are four wires. Because you got an extra wire for the speed signal. And then voltage modulated is three wires. <sighs> That's really lame. It should. We'll see how it does. I might be swapping yeah, that your means... fans out before. Okay. I prefer a PWM modulated. It's pulse width. Well, I guess you shouldn't say PWM modulated because it's pulse width modulation. But okay. Yeah. Well, what what does that do compared to what we have? Uh, just more accurate fan speed adjustment. Okay. Uh, with this, basically. If you want it to go faster, you just dump some more voltage to it. And you keep, don't keep really... that. Yeah. Keep that can pointed correctly now. Man, That's. I'm sorry, jeez. I can't believe. Andrew that said that if if that can if the can's pointed correctly, he's changing his name to Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, we'll have plenty of room. That power supply is gonna just push the hoses down a little bit, but it'll be fine. Yeah, boy. Cans in place, looking good. Okay. Computers in place, looking good. Probably should have plugged the power in for that SATA drive before I put the radiator in, too. Things are going to be a tight fit, I tell you what. Yeah, dude, that's a tight-fitted PC right there. Another reason that's a... I might grab us some custom cables is all of the 
hard drive power connectors I have are these where they have three on it. Oh, okay. I, I don't need to, and it also doesn't need to be this long. So, like, I could just snip these off, cover the wires so they don't short or nothing. But it's still too long this way. Yeah, it is a bit long. You could bundle it up, I suppose. Yeah. But... Well, that's the thing. I want to make sure I'm not blocking the airflow from that fan. So I want it to really come through the case. For now, we'll see how this looks. And Yeah. Uh, Andrew's like, you got a 3,000 view video? <laughs> we were just talking about that video that you had. Oh, yeah, my for... one random video that people for some reason watch. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's a, apparently, it's very informative. I guess. Or, I don't know. Well, this is a, it, the whole reason I made it is because it's a fairly uh, popular product for that community. And if you search it on YouTube, you find nothing. I'm like, why is there... How can it be this popular and not a single video on YouTube about it? Yeah. Here, here. So yeah, I go over to my to my killbox videos, which it's all dated information, but we got like six hundred views sometimes. Yeah. Like one hundred to six hundred. Yeah, we're gonna try to sneak the power in under the uh Dude, yeah. Here. Oh I like that splashlight. Why can that flash it's very tactical. That's my I only use stream lights anymore because they, they just last, and, like, I carry it every day. I use it for work a lot, so it's kind of like I want something that's small and fits in my pocket because I pull it out, you know, multiple times an hour. Weird. Get in there. Yeah, I like, I like that flashlight. The only thing that would make it more tactical is if a uh, blade would stick out, like, from the side so you could throw <laughs> it to someone. Well, that, uh... I will write to Streamlight and let them know your your thoughts. Yeah, we we need like it's tactical, but not tactical enough. Mhm. Mm Could be better. Yeah, should have plugged the power in before putting the radiator in. But that's okay. You can still get to it later, huh? I think winter time. Well, not really winter time, but fall finally hit down here. Oh really? Uh, it's yeah, it's in the fifties now. So yeah, I don't know. Well, it was uh, and, and, and I'm and I'm over here looking at buying a convertible. <laughs> it's actually warm up here today. It's in the fifties, but the wind is blowing so hard. Like, I don't know exactly how hard, but it's probably twenty with gusts up to thirty or more, and. It was all day long. And of course, mm. I'm out in it in a dirt lot getting blasted. I was just getting sandblasted all day is what I did. Mm. It was great. Were you fixing like a combine or something like that? Yep. Mm. Well, a grain auger. Okay. First, well, combine, then I went to a grain auger, and then I went to another combine. Wow, you were doing field work all day today, then. Mm -hmm. That's how I like it, though. I don't like sitting in the shop. Okay, that might be okay for now. Yeah, I'm going to have to... If nothing else, I'm going to get us a custom SATA cable. Because that's a little ridiculous. Like, Rrr. I think it'll all stay tucked up here, but... We'll see. Okay. So the only thing really left, we've got our, our hard drive is in. Graphics card. Motherboard is mounted. Liquid cooler, RAM, all that's plugged up. Radiators all hooked up. We can stick our power supply in and really try to run some wires. Hmm. It's looking good so far. Yeah. Okay. 
That one's going to be tough to deal with. It's our motherboard connector. So our power supply, with our, it's got the fan on the bottom, right? So if right. we put it in this way, that fan will be sucking out and blowing our hot air out the back. Is the plan here. Exactly. Oh, wow, that's a snug fit against the, the old GPU there. But it, it fits fairly well. Pushes down the liquid cooler hoses just a little bit. But that uh, isn't a problem. No. Nope. Not a problem at all. Yeah. There's not any hard bends. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's a tight computer. <laughs> yeah. That's very nice. Yeah. Very nice. It's like... So. And the thing is, like, this cable only needs to be, like this long from here to here yeah we have, like we have a solid foot of wire that we don't need yeah i'm gonna get us cables if you can stand to wait another week to get it oh yeah of course i guess it's not like you're in a super rush for it huh oh, no wait i mean red dead comes out next week that's not even a pc game like <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Need to put our front panel back on and run the I.O. wires because we've yeah. got USB on the front. Headphone, microphone input, that type stuff, you know. We need to get those hooked up in our power button. And those will be hard to run later. <sighs> do, 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 do. This goes underneath. Even, like, this cable is way too long. And this is part of their case. They should have known it didn't need to be that long. <laughs> they should know. Oh, what? Oh, that's the audio. Yeah. We want that, just in case you ever want to plug in at the front panel. And this guy... Yeah, well, I'll string them. Uh, yeah. Should have put these under the board. We'll see if I can't sneak them. Yeah, this is where it's really going to start getting challenging, is fitting all these wires around places and still keeping them tidy so air can flow past them. We don't just have a, a blockage, you know? Right. Cause yeah, that's that is the most important part of those of that little case. Gots to have that airflow, flowing that air. Yeah, cause I cause I turned it off. It stopped the download. Do, 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 I'll just keep it on. Stand our case up on the back here, huh? Try to get these wires all biggity boppity. Why is that under there? I haven't checked the Fortnite. So, yeah, some guy got into my Epic account and uh, got me a bunch of free stuff. That's so strange why anyone would do that. Yeah, and it was just the Epic account. It was like a German dude. And I uh, booted him off the account, uh, changed everything to, like, two-factor and all that jazz. Mm -hmm. So unless he, he has to have my friggin' cell phone to get it. Right. Uh that's just the rant. Who hacks someone's account and then proceeds to buy a bunch of stuff on it? Like, I don't know. He he got like a good like probably fifth of the season done for me too. So <laughs> weird. Like, what was his goal? Doggy. When you aim with the doggy, he looks all mad. <laughs> mad doggy. Yeah, you can get like little little animals uh, on your backpack now. Uh, they're adorable. Yeah, I he's like late. Animals. Backpack I mean, I could probably. Yeah, I could probably put Kiara in a backpack. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> you creating a mist on the table, bro? 
that's how you make like a scary environment with miniatures. You just vape onto the table and let it roll around the miniatures. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's uh that's that's how you do it in twenty eighteen. <laughs> Who needs some damn fog machine? I'll just nope. vape on the table. <laughs> Strike at midnight. Come here. There we go. Okay. Those are in. Let's feed this one through. Yeah, I still got everything. <laughs> yeah. Like, what I was think... dude's plan? Was he going to try to, like, he bought that to sell and your that. account? Or... I don't understand. I, don't, I have no idea. What was his goal? Because uh, if you're not going to do it to try to like, make some money or something, then why did you hack the account not just make your own? I'm really not too sure what this guy's deal was. I'm really not too sure. Unless he was like banned and needed to steal someone else's account so he could play again? I, I guess. But he even added like all of his friends to my account. Uh, That's so like, I logged in, and I had, like, a bunch of uh, Xbox... No, not Xbox. I had a bunch of PlayStation and uh, Switch friends. Hmm. So strange. So yeah. So strange. People do weird things. Okay. Front panel is on. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Now we have to do all these wires here. That's going to be fun. It's like this one literally goes right here, like three inches from where it comes from. Kind of dig that one. So can we maybe... Oh man, that. those wires. Them wires, son. Yeah, it's... this is going to be the trick. Be in a small case, there's not a lot of places to hide them either. So, you're good. But we'll find a way. You always find a way, bro. Where there's always a will, a there's a way. It's like a vampire hunter one because of the steak. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, and then Andrew got a bunch of, uh, what was it? You got a bunch of random achievements out of Path of Exile, like late game achievements that he's never done before. He just got them. Oh, that's funny. Well, it's like, here, have some achievements. Okay, yep. so that one's going to be up against the side here, and that's that'll be nice and out of the way. Okay. Good, yes. Those are LEDs. These are front panel audio. Oh my god, where is front panel audio? J odd right there. This goes like that, so. Yeah, I couldn't have even ran this under the board if I wanted to. There's nowhere for it to come out. <laughs> oh man. How crazy uh, is this? Covered Crusader? Mm-hmm. That's so definitely a wyvern. Just have to go like so, huh? Can we get you in there? <laughs> Here's my light. Come on. Oh, oh, I had it, and then it came out. It's a good thing I got small fingers. Man, you do have some small fingers. Okay, there. I was about to be like, well, Matt, the headphone and microphone ports on the front of the case aren't going to work. Oh, that wouldn't be good, but eh. I, mean, I use a USB microphone, right. so... I'm like, who actually uses them, but... 
that one yeah. time when you need to plug something into them and you plug it in and it doesn't work, you're going to be like, what the hell? What the hell? Well, I'm going to call Swanger and I'm going to be really mad. Mm-hmm. That's exactly I what wouldn't, you would I would. I wouldn't be very mad at you, Swanger. You're too cute. Don't you lie to me. You're adorable as hell. Look at you. Don't you lie to me. Is that actually okay? I don't know. I'll, I'll just purchase it. Just boop, boop. <laughs> okay. Power LED is 2 and 4. Power LED positive is 2. Ooh. Am I going to be putting anything on? Yeah, I am. So, this is 1 and 3, with positive being 1. I, I should have brought home some of my little tiny needle nose. Oh gosh. So, uh, what what do you think about the Fortnite? When when is the Fortnite going to die off, or is it already dying off, and we just don't know yet? I think it is. It's already dying off. It had a good long run, so I, I don't think anybody could say it didn't do well, but I think the new Call of Duty deal is going to kind of take over the Battle Royale I mean, thing for now. I've been watching Call of Duty, and I really like it. I actually, I'm looking at that, I'm like, it looks if I want to play a Call of Duty, it looks, it looks good, because uh, it... The like the six v six modes pretty much Overwatch, yeah. And uh, it has like a like if you want to play just normal Call of Duty, then it you just play the Battle Royale and it yeah. feels like Battle Royale. Yeah. I like how some of the the loot chests one of them drops and it's a zombie chest. So when you open it, it spawns zombies around you, and you got to go hunt the zombies before the chest will open. I did not know that. That's pretty cool. So it gives you the different incentives. Like apparently, like parts of the map can be like covered with zombies, and you can go in fight to get like really good loot. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, different different things. Now that's the battle royale mode. <laughs> yeah, it I has see something about fighting zombies in battle royale mode. Yeah, certain certain loot drops have them attached to them. That's coming. Kind of I, I mean, also saw some it, zombies in a graveyard when I was watching <laughs> Summit. Summit. I don't. I don't know. So uh, we were playing uh, Sea of Thieves this morning, Where are you? and we learned a bunch of new things. There's a there's a little speaker that you can like yell through to talk to other ships. Oh, that's cool. And um, I don't know. We you can make alliances now. On like you can uh, ally yourself with another group. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, you get like a portion of the gold that they turn in, so you can work together with other crews. I really like Sea of Thieves as an idea, and even as a game, it just—I feel like they came out with it at the wrong time because Fortnite was too big. Yeah, I. I think you should give it another try because yep. I'm having a lot of fun with it right now, uh, and uh, it, it like is crossplay. So, like after I know it, you just keep going and sailing around, and and that is the game. It's sailing around, doing quests, and turning them in. That's yep. the game. That's how the game is is built. But now Which there's a few other. Isn't necessarily a bad thing, like. No, like ten years ago, people would have been like, "Oh, this is a really cool game because it's it's just yep. sailing around and doing." So I mean, things. hop on there, play for an hour, and then hop off. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You've had. Fun. I think the, I think the real fun of that game is getting a full crew together and working yeah. together. Exactly. I got to pull the graphics card out to get these wires in. Oh shit. <laughs> They're uh, they're in there pretty tight. Good. 
It's like, um, what was it? Like, there's a new area that has, like, a lot of volcanic stuff, and you got to watch for volcanoes just oh. throwing rocks at you. That's uh, cool. There she goes. There's all kinds of different types of skeletons now. There's some skeletons you got to hit your lantern on before they can take damage. Uh, there's some where you have to throw water on to tarnish them before they can take damage. That's pretty cool, huh? I threw some vomit on uh, Andrew this morning. It was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> some vomit on Andrew. That was great. It, it was a fun time, fun time to be had for all. Oh, you silly! <laughs> I is, I is. Vomiting on Andrew. You're so crazy. <laughs> I crazy. Let's see if I can't run these under the board and back up. Yeah, I didn't have her or him. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, the dog's on your uh, back piece. So he's right there. There's a dog on your back piece. Or you could do, like, capes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll show you. Here, I'll just, uh... So, I'll play this so I'm dead. This bad boy right there. This no cell. Just <laughs> trying to get the front panel connectors all on here now. It's turning to be quite the ordeal. Uh, power LED positive is two, negative is four. Mm -hmm. So positive is green. Okay. If I can weasel that in there. Easel it in, bro. So I'll show you that. Let me run over here and grab this and I'll show you the dog. First. Spit on it. Got it. And then you might get it in. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's adorable. I know I am. <laughs> You are adorable, Swanks. Ha <laughs> Okay, and then you. Come on. Can Tote, I... Totes adorbs. You can do it. Man, they, they really wanted you to pack these in there, huh? Okay. There's those. Whew. Is that a gun? Power that is not a gun. Was six and eight. Damn it. Switch, switch five and seven. So that'd be those two nine what? will be empty. <laughs> That's all I want to show you anyway. <laughs> okay. Remember, inverted. There. <laughs> you gotta switch that over. Uh, Andrew is also part of the inverted haters club, like everybody is apparently. Because inverted is stupid inverted is not stupid <laughs> that's all I, that's all i know how to play well what does that make you <laughs> <laughs> you got me good okay there's our front panel connectors on the front panel audio <laughs> is just gonna have to run through here because it do we have any inverted friends besides me am i the only inverted one Ah, uh, I think there was one other person. I don't remember who. Probably one of the yeah. people we don't associate with anymore. Yeah. I remember Seth used to be inverted. Oh, man, that was a hell of a of a Halo team, man. Oh, yeah. That, that... <laughs> was it, uh... Let's see, it was me, Seth, is that, is that me, Seth, Walker, Sabatine? I think that's what it usually was, yeah. And then it's usually Walker nice. left, and and we subbed you, and then me and you became, like, the, the doubles champions. The, like, the we're, duo we're the, masters. the duo. Good stuff. Okay. All right. 
Let's see if I can get the graphics card back in now. <laughs> Stuff that card. Look at this pretty card. Uh, dude, I love it. Such a shame I think it's going to be I think hidden. It's really... well, I know. Not really. You'll see it through the side vents some. Um... Out of the way there. Right. I like how he has his dog food bowl back here. Come on. Here we go. Squeeze her right in there. Yes, sir. Right there. Okay. Spin it out. With a rifle? <laughs> With a rifle? I'm watching, a, I'm watching Andrew play uh, Fortnite while I'm watching you build this computer. Oh, boy. It's... I'm sorry. I can't be enough entertainment for you, Matt. Dude, I have to have all entertainment sources. You're lucky I don't have Pornhub running in the background. Like, <laughs> just right now. Just, <laughs> just uh, blast an ass in the background. <laughs> uh, that'd be hilarious. That was definitely a spooky ghost man. <laughs> Andrew gonna get killed by a spooky ghost man, ain't he? Spooky ghostman. Okay. Those wires are safe right there. They look like they're I'm Spooky, safe. Spooky Ghostman. Huh, my name's Spooky. And I'm a ghost man. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I was like... What? Perp. Yeah, there's a little slack in them. Everything's... First right rifle. Beautiful. That does look really pretty, man. It's going to be like, yeah, Matt, we're going to have to build you another one. I'm keeping this one. <laughs> I can't play this without any sound. <laughs> you trying to play Fortnite with no sound? Yeah, you can't do that. No. Somebody's just going to walk up behind you and like, <laughs> what's this guy doing? He's just, he's, he's been looking at a wall for like days. Like, what's <laughs> he doing? That's funny. Fortnite with no sound. I got a message from Xbox Live. Uh-oh. Did you see oh, that about oh. the, the PlayStation okay. Network? Like... So if you got a message and you opened it, it was like bricking your system and you had to do a, a factory reset. It would brick your system? Yeah. If you got a message? Yeah, like That's corrupted the... It was a, I didn't read the whole thing, but it was something weird like that. It, it was a big deal if you opened said message. That I do know. Huh. No, I did not see that. I mean, I have a, uh, I have a PS4. It kind of just sits here. Yeah. Uh, one of these days I'll dick around with it. I have quite a few games for it. I really want to play, um, I really need to play some, uh, what? No, not Spider-Man. I don't need to play no Spider-Man. Uh, God of War on it. I would like to do that, but yeah. I don't think I'm going to do it unless I can get it cheap. I think I can, if I can get that game for $30 this fall, I'll be happy. Yeah. That sounds like a reasonable price. Okay. Let's take a close up here of what it looks like with the power supply in now. Yeah. Let's take a look. Ugh. Any better light in here? You can't see nothing, can you? Ooh, that is a tight computer, yeah. Yep, there's a... There ain't no wiggling around in there, I'll tell you that. No. I'm going to freehand zoom in here so I can... So the power supply fan is, is sucking in or out? It'll be sucking in from... From right here, and then blowing okay. out the rear. Blowing That's out the front rear, okay. Fan with your radiator 
will be pulling air into the case and through the radiator. Yeah, should be pretty good. That's a going to be a tight fit. Man, that is a tight-fitted computer. Holy crap. All That's right. What she said. <laughs> her, her. Hurdy her. Her, her, her. We've been at this two hours now. Holy cow. Yeah, two hours, bro. Yeah, just without the side panels on it, it's nice. I mean, you you could just leave it open like that. Uh, your airflow would be all over the damn place. Yeah. I mean, people sometimes just set up the components like on a desk and just. Oh yeah. One of the best ones I've seen. So, <laughs> one of the Overwatch League pro players, XQC. Yeah. His computer is just a pile of parts on the floor. <laughs> just a pile of parts on the floor. Literally, no case, nothing. Just a pile of parts on the floor. I mean, yeah, that works. Yeah, you're not supposed to put your computer on your floor, bro. <laughs> like, they aren't not in any kind of case, no boxes, just like the motherboard is just plopped on the floor, wires and stuff go into it. It's ridiculous well I mean it works well It would help if I actually put the power supply in the correct way. <laughs> Is okay. it in the wrong way? A little bit. Let's see about getting this power cable to the motherboard. My god. Yes, fl flip that baby upside down. Why? Why is it so long? <laughs> we don't need this much cable. <laughs> that's That's just... I mean, I I guess it assumes that you're going to be building a tower. Right. That's. I think the length of these cables is like an industry standard, and if you want different, you go get custom cables made. You got a local shop or something like that that makes them, or are you just going to order no, one? No, they'll be ordered from CableMods.com. Hmm. They're pretty good. I think they're like the the go-to. You can actually, I could just get the pins for these connectors and cut the wires down and repin them, which might be what we do. But I still think it's better just to grab the cable mods ones and then you got nice sleeved cables. And, which these are sleeved anyway, but yeah, whatever. Different kind of sleeve. Yeah, I would have had a hell of a time doing this build. <laughs> My big old fat fingers, I don't know if I could do it. Might have got interesting. Also, like, our graphics card power cable, it only needs to be, like, maybe six inches. Yeah, I think a set of custom cables will be in order. Because where I'm piling all these is where that hard drive tray will go. So if you ever did want to put the hard drives in that tray, you can right. with all these cables. And I want to make sure you have that option available, just in case. Do, 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 do. 
do 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 do. Okay. Pack them in there real good and tight, yeah. Fortunately, they can all be packed on top of the, the radiator there, and that means they're not blocking airflow, really. I don't know about this right, one. Right, Jesus. right. This is huge. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Yes. So. That's, that's, you, it looks like you're wrangling a snake. I, I am. <laughs> Where's my little flute thingy at that them... Yeah. You're being attacked by an electric snake. Yeah, for real. Holy, yeah. Yeah. It's electric. Shorter cables are necessary for this. For any type of quality build level. If you don't plan on ever doing anything else in here, then sure, this would be fine, but... Holy cow. Well, there it is. They're all plugged in. <laughs> Just gotta pack them in there a little bit. <laughs> so that's where the extra hard drive tray would have went. Yeah, that's where this tray would go, and it's... <laughs> not, uh, not go in there. No, no, nah, nah. Oh, man. That's... And then you would have to worry about that hard drive cable as well. Yep. So... <laughs> it's just, I don't think it's physically possible to, uh, do this with normal length cables. You would have to have shorter cables. Unless you just had no intentions of ever putting anything in the hard drive tray up top. Right. I just don't think it's a wise decision to not give yourself that option. No, like having an, uh, having a, the option of another hard drive is always nice. Especially with hard drive prices going down. Yep. You know, in two years you're going to be able to get a terabyte. Oh, yeah. Super cheap. I'll get a close-up here of the, the cabling mess. I've got them all just packed in there. <laughs> Bring us in for a close-up. But the good thing is... Oh, wow. That is so packed in there. The radiator still has a nice straight shot. The only thing blocking it's the, the motherboard power cable there. And so it still has a okay. good shot straight through, nothing obstructing the airflow. Yeah. I don't know if you can really see that or not on the camera. But... Yeah, the radiator's looking good. Yeah, I think we'll be all right there. It's going to be... Wow, well, it's, it's hard to believe that there's that many parts packed into that little small box, though. Right. Pretty legit. Uh, I think many builds are the way to go. Yes, sir, I do. All right, stick some screws in the back of the power supply here, and then we'll put the outer case back on and we'll actually have a view of the pretty much completed computer. So blowing this case out would be relatively easy. I just take the frame out and just blow yeah. it out. Just take the little top cover deal off and oh. uh. screws please there we go you're in you're in and right here is one What are, you, what are you, blowing on some hot soup or something? <laughs> I'm doing uh, kung fu noises. <laughs> okay. 
I mean, do you expect anything less? Nope. Okay, bye, screw. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. There's like 50 more where that came from. Oh, wow, they include so many screws with this case. Like, you can't mount that much stuff. <laughs> no. But they sure wanted to make sure you had all the screws you could need. By golly. Gotta have them screws. Give me all them screws. Go. Hmm. Okay. So, what are we forgetting now that I'm gonna have to take it all the way back apart? Because that would be hilarious. Almost. We're one holiday away. Thanksgiving doesn't matter anymore for Walmart. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, we do Black Friday on Thanksgiving. <laughs> right. I'm wondering what uh, my schedule will be that day. Black I'm off Thursdays. It's turned into such a weird thing. Such an odd holiday, if you can call it that. Oh, uh, yeah, the Thanksgiving Black Friday. Right. Uh, that's that's like everybody. Let's go buy a bunch of junk. Yep. And 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 it really is junk. Like oh, we wait. have. Junk. They will make <laughs> special editions of things super cheaply just to sell for Black Friday, and people think it's the same as what they would get normally. Yeah, the, those TVs aren't exactly no. the same. <laughs> they are garbage versions of what was already a mediocre whatever anyway. Like, Yeah, like, I look at, like, high-end TVs, and, like, most people would think a high-end TV is what? 800 bucks, something like that. No, high-end TVs are like three grand yeah. for a 55-inch. That's what a high-end TV is. Yep. Okay. But that but that three grand TV for a 55-inch will last forever. Yep. Like, it's, it's built to be that damn good. Ooh, those wires are giving you some troubles there, huh? Yeah, we're we're packing them in there a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Okay, are we on back here? No, nope, we missed one back here, I guess. Somewhere, maybe. Is there a? Oh, looks like it clicked in. Oh, there's some that come from the top down. So it's like you kind of you go up here. Push them in, and then you come back here. That would take forever. Go down. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about the wires are actually pushing up on the lid, so you can. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> yeah. That's just how many. Miles of wire you have in there. Yep. We'll, uh, we'll have to get that toned down a bit. Yeah, like it can't even stay closed. Oh, yeah, I see that. Okay. So, not clips in the top. There is. I think we just can't get the clips in because of the wiring. Um, let's just stick this down for a minute and see what we can do here. Yeah, that... that yeah, we'll definitely have to get smaller wires. There's not a choice. No, there's... They're just too long. They're just too long. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. It's just gonna be what it be up here. They're just too big. If we pack it into the 
front here a little bit, huh? I don't really want it touching the GPU heatsink. Probably not the best thing for them. <laughs> Get it. Did you win your Fortnite? Uh, no. <laughs> well, then I don't even want to hear about it. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, we'll worry about putting the, the top on once we have wires that fit. <laughs> yeah. Andrew, you good? Did you have a brain aneurysm? Andrew, did you aneurysm your brain? All of his brains just got done aneurysmed. Done did aneurysmed that, I tell you what. That's alright. Oh, what the hell. I forgot a wire. I knew I Oh, uh, which wire it. did you forget? The CPU power. Oh, that'll do it. We're gonna it has that. to have a brain. It has to have a brain. Oh, uh, how am I even... Gonna it's going to be Abby normal. How am I going to fit another wire in here? <laughs> yes. For the CPU power. Maybe we can bring it down the side. <laughs> yeah. Custom cables it is. you in there come on need more light in this room <laughs> Andrew says you look like you're making a bomb I think he's making fun of your skin color uh, what are you trying to say Andrew Here for now, maybe. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh boy. So many wires. So many wires, so little space. And it would honestly be better if we had, like, cheaper quality power supply wires. Cause, like, these yeah, those are, those are, <laughs> these are those like, are beefy quality. wires with sleeving. And <laughs> if we had some cheapo wires, they would probably bend around a lot easier. It's like... Okay, here. Let's... Plug in this. Now we get to start it up again and make sure it still starts up. Will it work? Yeah, it's weaving. We got lights. We got fans. Looks like it's working. Let me grab a keyboard so we can get into the BIOS. Gotta get that BIOS, son. Give me that BIOS. Ugh. Might uh, scoot this down. 
and will the monitor reach over to there? I think it will. Come here. Eh, a little bit more. Mm. There we go. Uh, yep. Okay, so it knows there's a hard drive in there because it's asking us to boot now. Uh, keyboard, keyboard, keyboard. Uh, I gotta get my stool here. Into the shelf of things. We'll just use our Razer Black Widow Ultimate for yeah. our test keyboard. I think I have that same exact keyboard. It's a pretty yep. popular one. Same thing I got. I mainly switched away from it because I wanted a 10 keyless. So without okay. the numpad buttons. Hmm. Fits my little tray thing a lot better. Gotcha. And we'll just plug in at the front here. Maybe. There we go. Do 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 do. Uh, I don't know if that actually worked or not. All right. So let's see if we get Le BIOS. Sad. Ugh. How did I miss it, really? Ugh. I'm not exactly sure if it's delete or what on MSI motherboards. Probably like F1 or something stupid. Uh, delete, yeah. What the hell? I don't think this front USB works without having an operating system or something. Oh, no, I had the wrong one plugged in. Is that keyboard uh -huh. has the port on it, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, now we actually have keyboard. Let's try this again. I'm going to rotate you here so you can see your <laughs> graphics card inside there. <laughs> see how your graphics card's got some lights to it there it's kind of cool i see that i can see it through the screen that's pretty sweet yep. is there another one? <laughs> it's not really bright which is nice because it'll it'll come through the side but you won't really see it that much you won't blind you or nothing right all right we're in the bios we got to set our ram profile first thing i'm gonna do though is actually see what bios version we're on so i'm sure it needs updates and whatnot You still playing Fortnite? Nah, I'm just watching you, bro. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Playing Fortnite with no sound is a dangerous game. Yeah, that's not something you want to do. <laughs> oh, hey, there's there's people chatting. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, we, we were chatting for a little while. Oh, Matt Duncan came in. Is that uh, one of your buddies, bro? Yeah, yeah, one of my buddies up here. Cool. A oh, sweet vaping. Oh, yeah, I got my vaping going on now. Andrew is giving you a, uh, <laughs> a, a toasting vape. <laughs> Put 
this. And now it's settling on me like some sort of fog. I wonder why chat doesn't show up in <laughs> OBS. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. Your what doesn't? So in OBS, chat doesn't show up. Like it would, maybe it's just because it's YouTube, but in, on Twitch it does. Yeah, oh yeah, so... <clears throat> That OBS version only connects up to Twitch. So you could use, like, Chatty Jar or something like that. Well, no, you couldn't use Chatty Jar because it pulls from Twitch as well. I don't know. I don't know how to check the YouTube one. Me neither. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, here. So, our CPU... Just sitting out there at 3.6 gigahertz. If it's anything like mine, when you're in the operating system, it'll pretty much just sit at 4.2 all the time. No big deal. What is our... Where do we find our temperatures, though? Down here. Hardware monitor. Do, 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 do. So our CPU is currently sitting at 30C, which is pretty dang good, actually. That's definitely lower than mine sits. Hmm. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, let's see here. How do I get over there? I don't have a mouse plugged in. Is it maybe tab? Nope. I don't know how. Do, 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 do. So, I want to see. Uh, what BIOS version are we on? BIOS version, right there. Now we're going to go to MSI's website. MSI USA. Yeah. Um, MSI is still a pretty good company. Yeah, they, they're pretty good. Um, they, they build their own rigs and stuff now too, don't they? Like laptops and all that jazz. And then we'll go support, BIOS. Uh, so this one's build date is 8-6-2018. It is A... -7 -A 40 Wait, What? Yeah, I think this is actually up to date. A10. Yeah. That's odd to actually get a motherboard with a up to date. That's wow. Oh, it has up to date BIOS? Yeah. That's huh. kind of amazing. That is a rarity. Well, that saves us some trouble. Memory. So we need to set it onto profile two. Where do we do that in here? Uh, right there. XMP. Oh, how do you get over there? I really need to plug a mouse in. That'd make this way easier. Do, 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 do. Which one of these is my mouse? Uh, I don't want oh, here we go. XMP. So, profile 2 will put us at 2933. We should have a, a 3000 one. 
Well, actually, 2933 is what we would have. Yeah. Okay. And we're actually going to... I'm not going to overclock your CPU just because there's really no need to from my research and testing on my own system. It okay. Already boosting to 4.2 gigahertz is plenty. And right. And the main thing is, unless you get into custom P-State overclocking, anytime you just up the the multiplier, the CPU ratio, if you just up it, then it's just stuck. Like, I could just make you stuck. It'd just be 4.5 gigahertz all the time. Whoa. And yeah. It's kind of like you... It's not really going to hurt anything, but at the same time, we're in a small case, so we don't want heat when you're not using it, you know? That is true. That's so very true. I'll just leave it alone, and then, you know, it, it can idle down when it needs to. It can speed up oh, when it needs to. That just made, that made me uh, think of this. So, did you know that World of Warcraft hasn't been able to take advantage of multi-core processors until this newest patch? Really? Yeah, it's been using basically, like, two cores of your processor. Wow. So, this newest patch that they're going to drop, 8.1, everybody's pretty much going to be able to get, like, a 25 to 50% uh, frame increase. Because wow. it's going to let you use the rest of your cores. <laughs> That's a little ridiculous. Yep, it's been stuck at basically two core processing since like I think uh, Cataclysm? Wow. I did not know that. I don't know what the hell game boost is. Let's look. Oh, it just adds a little bit of overclock. Yeah, we'll just leave that off. Where is, like, the... Oh, advanced F7. That's what we want. Yeah. Overclock settings. So what does Game Boost do? It just gives you, like, a little bit of overclock when you start a game. Oh. Uh... Nothing in, nothing particularly amazing there. No. Uh, let's do this. Turn that off. We should be able to use three thousand. I just see that <laughs> that graphics card just staring at us there. Oh yeah. Pretty graphics card, it sure is. <laughs> Let's just see if it'll take it three thousand. Just to see. Where's our advanced DRAM? So we'll run 15. No, we're going to have to change that. That's, uh, yeah. Uh, should be 1517. Well, let's leave it on auto and see what it does, huh? How do I get out of here now? Damn it. Let me out. There we go. Uh, let me out. Let me out, damn you. And all this looks good. We'll, uh, we'll see if it'll boot at 3,000 and go from there.
All right, how do you save in their BIOS and exit? Never messed with MSI's BIOS here, so I'm kind of like, uh... Without saving, no. I want to save. It's in the hardware monitor one. I would it's love to save. save. It would be wonderful if I could save. That'd be great. Thank you. I'll mess with fan curves later. Get all that set up. Uh, let me out. Maybe that. Manpower warning control enable. DRAM frequency. Save configuration and exit. Yes. Okay. Let's see if it boots. Yep, it booted at 3,000, so that's good. All right. Yeah, that's a good song. We'll see when we get into Windows. I'll have to do some some tweaking. But yeah, for the most part, she's up and running. A uh, few things we need to handle, though. Get some cables and stuff. See how the, yeah. the Zotac on the top of the card lights up. It's a... Pretty cool. Oh yeah. There is a so on the front of the case the the hard drive like power light. It's like a blue thing. I can unplug oh, yeah. it if you want or no, no that's okay. Not. That's all right. Just a little bit of light there, you know, makes you know it's yeah, on yeah. at least. I like that. Yeah, get some cables. Make things fit a lot better. Then I'll do some tweaking. We'll start running benchmarks and see how hot it gets. That's going to be the <laughs> real... The real... The test. Yeah. That front panel's pretty neat. I like the, uh, the little square grating or whatnot. Yeah. Makes it not look boring. Yeah. One thing about this power supply that's a good feature most of the time, but it's actually a little bit of a hindrance to us, is the fan on the power supply is like a silent mode thing, to where yeah. it only turns on when there's load on the system and that's pretty much our only exhaust fan so it's only going to turn on when you're actually used which i guess that's when you're actually making heat anyway but it'd be nice yeah. if the fan was on all the time that's true but at the same time so when you're just sitting there with it idle it won't be you won't even hear it you know yeah that's a plus. Okay, I think I'm going to end it there then. She's up and Sounds running. good, bro. Sounds good. Looking all right. Yeah. Do some more tweaking after work tomorrow and get windows put on it. And yeah. Study on some cables and get those. Then you can up. do the benchmarks and see all kinds of crazy benchmarks. Yeah. 
Let's see how good it does. Should be pretty cool. Well, we... of the modern cards, this is the first time you've dealt with like a modern one, right? Well, of this gen card, I put a 1080 in one of the guys that's in chat earlier, Johnny. I built him one. Okay. Put a 1080 in his, but he was in such a rush to get home with it, that I couldn't even get his stuff up to date before he was taken oh, wow. off. So. Yeah, I, I am in no ever, rush. <laughs> I don't think we ever benchmarked his or anything. Like a TI or just a 1080? Just a 1080. Okay. This is a pretty good system build. And I don't remember what did we... The 2600 wasn't out yet. I think we used the Ryzen 5 1600. That's what it was. Okay. Then. I think. I don't remember now. And then it turns out, like, we build the thing. And I'm like, cool. You playing any games yet? He's like, nah. I haven't actually used it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Johnny. <sighs> okay. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. I, I got this thing. I just don't use it. <laughs> mm -hmm. We built it right before the mining craze took off. And so I was oh, telling wow. him, I was like, dude, that 1080 you bought for, I don't know what they were back then. They were only like 500 bucks. I'm like, dude, you could sell that thing for like a thousand right now. Yeah, you could flip it. Yeah. And he didn't want to, which, I mean, I don't blame him, I guess. Just keep what you got. And yeah. I mean, mess 1080s with it. are still... Yeah, what, 600 some, bucks? They're, like, yeah, they're around six, 650. They can get up to 7 and 8 still, though, depending on what model. Just depending on what's in stock at the time and all that kind of crap. Graphics cards yeah, all are that still jazz. just a really weird market. I don't know, the whole mining thing is, like, it's done with, but it's like the fallout of it is still being dealt with. Yeah. Yeah, didn't Bitcoin crash pretty hard? Yep. It's usually what happens to things like that. Yeah, let's just make up a currency. Yep. <laughs> I got all the boxes. Well, that's a nice looking machine. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for you to actually get it in your hands. I likes it a lot. Yep, the only real major thing is getting these cables done. Gotta fix this. Yeah, those cables are a little ridiculous. Yeah, that's that's not gonna fly. Unacceptable. So I get that straightened out. Unacceptable. <laughs> they include with the case one of these little like stick on cable clamp things. I'm like, uh -oh. yeah, that's going to help us. Yep, just one. Chilling. Thanks, Silverstone. That one cable clamp. <laughs> oh, man. Overall, though, I like the quality of everything. The board's nice and sound. It's not bendy. It's cooler no. for being just a 120 millimeter. All in one is actually pretty nice. I'm kind of disappointed that it's not PWM, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. No. Nah. It'll work just fine. What's the warranty on the 650G3? I don't remember. I think it's like seven year warranty on this power supply. That's a big warranty too. Yeah, man. They stand behind their stuff. That's how you know it's good. Ugh. 
Well, that was a fun. Two yeah, that was a, a fun half build. Hour stream. Yeah, that was cool. Honestly, not too bad for trying to no. get everything shoved in a tiny little case. Yeah, you've never done a small build like no. that, so I mean, that was like you know, first time there. Not too bad at all. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Not too shabby. Such a shame that beautiful little graphics card's gonna be all hidden. <laughs> Which, like the mesh on there, you'll still, you'll still see it. But. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I'll probably do is just order some pins and just cut these down and repin them. Would be the okay. best way to do it, I believe. We'll see what Cable Mods has for us. Because as much as I enjoy wiring, that's the kind of stuff I do at work. Is crimp new ends on wires and put them back yeah. in the connectors and. I don't. I don't really want to do that all night. But if it if it was coax, I could do it. <laughs> yeah, I know how to make coaxes, but. <laughs> Woo! Okay, stream's over, people. Thanks get, for get watching. out of here. Get out of streamers. Get yeah, thank you here. for watching. Oh, we got three people. Who's the third person? I don't know. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Finger guns. Finger guns. Finger guns. You want to see my shelf? I'm keeping all your boxes, too, by the way. Like, Are you keeping all my boxes? <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to be able to send them all to you. Like, No, I'm, no, no. Keep, keep my boxes. So yeah. be, okay. Yeah, there's this box, a <laughs> shelf of boxes. Keep he keeps boxes. his boxes, bro. <laughs> Never get rid of the boxes. No, but what I can do for yours, once we're done, I'll put it back in the box the case came in. Yeah, that's, that's the easiest way to ship it. Yeah. Nice styrofoam padding and everything, and bam, coming your way. Yeah, it'd be easy peasy. it look great. I'll give you a... I'll, I'll take more pictures of uh, my station and everything. This thing's great. Let's measure it. Let's see what the actual. So front to back, eleven and a quarter. Okay. Wide, eight and a half. From the desk up, so including it's got little rubber feet under it. Yeah. Seven and a quarter. That's a small little case. Heck yeah. That's a good. That's 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 a very small computer. That it'll I mean ten seventy TI will outperform my nine seventy, obviously, so you're you're gonna be better off than I am. Yeah. Nice. Unless it just so happens to be a game that still works with SLI, and then right. then I could probably beat you a little bit. But you can probably outperform. Eh, yeah. I might be able to catch up two nine seventies versus one ten seventy Ti. And you're thinking of switching your graphics cards again pretty soon, huh? Right? Yeah, I'm probably gonna here in the. Honestly, there was one on eBay I should have bought. Went for like a hundred dollars less than normal, but mm. I was at work and I missed it. And but yeah, I want to get in that Vega sixty four life so I can have my free sync and an overclocked yeah. Vega sixty four can 
It's kind of like in between a 1080 and a 1080 Ti most of the time. Sometimes mm. it's under a 1080, sometimes it's over. But the thing is, you know, they're brand new, one the liquid cooled editions, the ones that I want. I'm spending close to 700 bucks. Well, you can get a lot of other better cards for 700 bucks. That's true. So, yeah. Oh, you know who the third person is? Me. Who's there? Yeah, you. <laughs> it was you the whole time. Oh, that's funny. Well, you 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 had up to six there for a little while. Neato. I guess Duncan popped in, looks like, and Johnny popped in. Neato. Neato Dorito. Oh yeah. Or is it Neato Cheeto? Whoa. Why is this 720p stream? I didn't know that. No, that is unacceptable. unacceptable. Yeah, you you could stream it at 1080 or at why, uh, 720. Why did it not go to 1080? I swear I said it to 1080. My, my auto put the qu quantity at 144. I was like, what? Whoa. <laughs> I was like, why is it streaming this this poorly? <laughs> I said, no thanks. Let's see 144. See, there's 144. <laughs> Just like one brick pixel. Yeah, it's really bad. It looks like Minecraft. Oh, that's terrible. Not great. All right, we're going to go ahead and end stream.